Welcome to another class of What You Put In, the show that's taking the internet by storm, actually. Welcome, Tara. Welcome, everyone. It's a class on empowering yourself to become the best version of yourself with your teachers, Tara Beth. Evie Jo. Evie Jo. And it's great to see everyone tonight. Thanks for tuning in. It's 7 p.m. It's prime time. And we'd like to, for those that are new here, we'd like to start every show with, first of all, wave to everybody. I like everyone sends the waves in. Uh, tell us where you're from. Where are you from? Let's give some shout outs on locations uh, and where people are from. And while you're typing it in, let's do a couple opening takes, shall we? Let's. You want to go first, or would you like me to go first? Um, I could take it today. Um, take it? I had an interesting day today. We went back to virtual school today, so I got to see some of my classes this morning and check in with them, so that was really wonderful to get to, to talk to my students who I haven't seen in a while, so I was definitely flying high this morning, super excited. Um, and then a little bit later this afternoon, we found out that all schools in Massachusetts and I, I think a lot of other schools actually as well in other states are not going to go back or are not allowed to go back until May 4th. Um, some schools have canceled completely wow. for the year in other states. So it's been a sure has been a roller coaster of a ride today. Um, but you know what? We're going to figure it out. We're going to talk a little bit about... Uh, setting your pace today and believe it or not that actually has something to do with what I was just talking about so we're gonna make it all fit um, but that's what I got today and and friend? that's big news that's a big day for you mm -hmm. and I watched her whole day it was a roller coaster and she handled it with grace and poise like she handles everything in life thank you Did grace a great job. is my middle name Grace it's is not. your middle No. Oh, my middle name is Beth. I've been with her for so many years that I just learned a new tasty <laughs> tidbit, a new middle name. Yeah, some of my friends used to call me Tara Grace when I was younger, but it's just because I was very clumsy. I was going to say, is that because so. you fell and hurt yourself a lot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a couple new bruises today from the dishwasher. Luckily, you've grown so. out of that, though. <laughs> By yeah. the way, great to, Hopkinton's crushing it tonight. Uh, we saw Hopkinton. We got Paxton. People tuning in from New York City tonight. Great New to York see you. New York City. Wasn't that a thing? That was a thing. <laughs> that was a thing. It's like every show we come up with something oh, from. It's the salsa. The it's, salsa. It's the piece. It's New York City. Where was your salsa made? <laughs> New York City. I can't even do it. New York City. <laughs> We got Brighton. I saw Luxembourg. Is that no, that is Brighton. Brighton. Oh, we kind of harmonized that. That's amazing. amazing. This is so fun. Hello, Sarah Furlong. Nice to see you. Waving to you. Uh, let's start with some gratitudes. If you have not written your gratitudes today, journal it up. Write them down. It's good practice every day. Tara Beth, you got something you're grateful for today? Yeah, I'm grateful that my technology worked this morning when I was talking with my students. Um, my first class, I actually, a lot of teachers had their screens crashing and things were not going well. So they said it was when they tried to display their screen. So I just didn't do that for my first class. And then I tested it with my second class and it worked out fine. Um, so I'm really thankful that, that it all worked out. Fantastic gratitude. And friend, what are you grateful for? Today, today I am I am grateful for, and this one is uh, this is kind of a near and dear to my heart. I love to cook. I love to cook. And honestly, I am grateful for the fact that we can take we have time to make some really good home cooked meals. I just I think it's so fun to nourish our body with good food and I love coming up with new recipes for Tara Beth to try. She is, she's my sous chef. She's also my food critic. It's kind of an interesting relationship. She helps me prepare it and then she rips it apart and tells me what I need to do better next time. I usually don't rip it apart. Well, no. At you, all. Well, that, oh, does that mean that we're, <laughs> uh, I might be doing some good things? You're a great cook. I'm grateful for his cooking because otherwise I would very honestly eat cereal every single night, every night. I in, think she in would. morning. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe throw in some mac and cheese if I was feeling spicy, but spicy you, gotta, life. you gotta make that. Like cereal, like you open it, you pour it in, you're done. You're done. You're done. 
Tonight we had chicken cutlets, some roasted veggies, some cauliflower, some Brussels sprouts, and some eggplant, a little salad on the side. It was, oh, mm. it was my mom's recipe for chicken cutlets, by the way. Julie Gund the Julie Gundis special. What are you grateful for tonight? Uh, you can put in, in the comments, we'd love to see you uh, start identifying your gratitudes, what you do have in life, focusing on that versus what you don't. Let's take a look here if we got anybody. <laughs> DTMB, they're agreeing that I would eat cereal. DTMB, I yeah, she would. And it, there's nothing wrong with that. There's some good cereal. Molly knows it. There's a, there's a whole world of people out there that like to think they know exactly what the best cereal is. There's only one real answer. The best cereal ever All made. All of the cereal is the best cereal. Uh, like, oh my goodness. All of the cereal is the every best? Every day, all day. Now, hold on. Okay. Like, Maybe not all the cereal. Like, like wheat, mini wheats? Oh my goodness, I love Without the sugar? Frosted no, 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 I'm saying without it. It just tastes uh, like cardboard. If you soak them enough, they have this cool texture. I think it's the texture. The texture. Like, like the, yeah. the best cereal of all time, it's, you don't have to. Yes, it's just a, a known fact. It is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Corn Pops. pops. Known fact. I mean, they cinnamon might not even be called Corn Pops. I'm Best. pretty sure there's no corn in them. It's probably just a pop. Well, Cinnamon Toast Crunch has cinnamon, it has toast, and it has crunch. So every ingredient that they advertise is in that cereal. It's the best. It's so true. Lucky That's Charms. Lucky Charms are good. They Especially are good. Especially with the unicorn marshmallows. The unicorn Thank you. marshmallows taste Another 100% cinnamon toast crunch. No question. Homemade banana bread uh, is probably, well, that, <laughs> yeah, that top cinnamon toast crunch. That is true. Yeah. By the way, I'm is Cam that. Boyce watching this tonight? Caden Boyce, is Cam Boyce on this? I would love to see Cam Boyce hanging out with us on what you put in. So yeah, a lot of things to be grateful for in life. A lot of good cereals out there. Uh, today's lesson, I'm, I'm excited to get right into it. Uh, ooh, we got a gratitude though. I, we got to read it. Oh, wonderful. Your ment you got to video conference with your mentor. Who is your mentor? I'd love to know who your mentor is. I love when people have identified someone in their life that they look up to. And that's a great gratitude, man. I like that one. So getting right into the lesson of the day is setting your pace. And to represent Definite setting your pace. unfrosted mini wheats. Wow. Unfrosted mini Definite. wheats. Definite. That's a, man, a I don't hard know. yes on unfrosted mini wheats. I'm wearing my TVFR shirt today. This is Tri Valley Front Runners, a running club that Tara and I used to belong to. We technically still belong to it. We technically still do. Parents. We love this running club. They are based in central Massachusetts. It's just hard for us to get out there and participate in the running club because we live out here in Eastern Mass. But we used to run for them, love their jerseys. And tonight we're talking about setting your pace, so I gotta wear my run jersey. And setting your pace, I think that something that came to mind for Tara and I today is in, in planning this lesson, we're in a strange time. I mean, we don't need to discuss what kind of world we're living in right now, but it's strange because we don't know what pace we're supposed to live at right now. And the reason being is we don't know how long this race is. Like Tara got talked about how she was told schools are going to stay closed now. It was supposed to be April 7th originally. It was originally April 7th. Um, but then with the, the shutdown, we knew it was going to be at least a little bit longer. Um, and now it's May 4th. May 4th. So maybe it'll be May 4th. We don't know. And that's the thing. And I've, uh, Tara and I both do a lot of running. I've run a lot of races. I brought a couple artifacts. Uh, today, I, I ran today. I went for a three-mile run. It felt unbelievable. I'm getting like back into the, the, the vibe of running. So I brought some things for you. Uh, this, you get really cool stuff when you start doing ultra marathons. This was a 50-mile race that I did, and the, the prize at the end was a cowbell. More cowbell. 50 miles. You run 50 miles, destroy your body, and get this cool cowbell. I did a race. Uh, a That's been a joy to have in the house. Oh, I love way. this thing. I did a 15 mile trail race in, in February. It was called the Frozen Yeti Trail Race. And for coming in second place overall, they gave me this little Yeti. Look at that. 15 mile, second place mail right there. And that's the, that was the prize. This is probably my favorite one. I ran a 100 mile ultra marathon. And it was called the Ghost Train Ultra. And for finishing the Ghost Train Ultra in the 30-hour time limit that they gave you, 
the prize was a railroad spike. Get it, ghost train. Ghost train, railroad 100 miler, spike. get a railroad spike. My most prized possession. I sleep, the, I mean, some people sleep with stuffed animals. I sleep with this rusty railroad spike. It comforts me at night and it, it motivates me to get Another great morning. joy. <laughs> So we we run spike. a lot of races, but the thing is, with all the races that we we run in life, whether you're a 5K runner and you set up to run that 5K, you know it's going to be 3.1 miles, and you can pace yourself accordingly. If I know I'm going to run a 50-mile race, I can set up, stand at the start line and know exactly what pace I need to go to complete 50 and not totally blow myself up, but to also push myself and get the best speed and time I can. If it's a 100 mile race, okay, it's 100 miles, I gotta pace myself for that. If we're doing a 100 meter sprint, then you go all out, you know how to pace yourself, you got just 100 meters, but right now we're living in a time where we do not know how long this race is. We could be inside for two weeks, this could last for a month, it could last years, we have no idea. So I think we've been finding it difficult to find our pace. Like Tara's got this school year that's not 180 days standard normal anymore. How do you pace for that? And we're all at work, and people are home at work. Uh, they're not going out. You don't know how to pace for what you're doing each day. It's just a strange time. Yeah, and just trying to figure out what, what to do next. If I have to pace myself for the next two weeks of enrichment, okay, I can find a way to do that. But then it's going to change to... Can we teach? Is it still enrichment? What's it going to be? So I feel like every day I have been just working nonstop to figure out lessons and figure out what's going to be best for the students and how to put it together. And then the next day it all changes. So then I work a whole nother day of just changing things and fixing things and what's going to be best for the students. Right. So it's been kind of crazy. I've been working really hard and kind of burning, burning myself out a little bit. Totally. Because I haven't been pacing correctly. Yeah, sure. and, and I feel the same thing for the Leadership Academy this mm -hmm. summer. We are hopeful that we're going to be at BC this year running Leadership Academy for all of you. And we got the thing sold out, and we were going to open a second week of it. And now we're trying to figure out what to do. So now I'm trying to figure out, all right, how hard do we push to promote the second week? It may not open if, like, we can't do it because the state says, sorry, no summer programs allowed. And then how do you pace every day? We're not going outside as much. We don't have a clean schedule of I need to go to school and then I come home and then I go to sports practice. It's lacrosse season. Great. Those are tryouts. Like how do we know how much we're putting in? And I think a lot of us could either burn out quick or we could hold back too much from our daily life right now because you're under pacing. So we got a great tool for you, a good technique for this. Right. The technique this evening, run when you feel good. And walk when you don't. If you don't know how long this race is going to be, and this race could, could truly mean anything, run when you feel good and walk when you don't. Um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of running even when I haven't felt good. And it, it has been time for me to say, you know what, it's okay. I know I scheduled this, these two hours to be work. From 9 to 11, I'm going to work. And 11 to 12, I'll, I'll take a break, have lunch, and then from 12 to 2, I'll, I'll work again. And if I have some trouble getting going in the morning, rather than just sit there and stare at my work and be like, I, I need to be working right now, I need to be doing this right now, but I just don't have a good grasp on what's happening because I'm going to learn some more information later, but I need to be working because it's on my schedule right now, that's a time to walk. It's okay to be adaptable and change up your schedule. That would have been a perfect opportunity for me to say, okay, Later, around 2, 3, I'm going to learn some more information. So let's move my two-hour work chunk to later in the day and maybe take this time to just reset my mental health. Maybe I should read a book. Maybe I should do yoga. Um, it's, it's, it's okay to change up the plan. I think of it as, you know, if I got to the start line to a race and someone said, all right, this is a two-mile race, Ready, set, go. I'd start hustling. I'd be flying, trying to get in my two miles real fast. I only, that's just two miles. That We can crank that out. And then it's like getting to mile 1.5 and then being like, okay, now you've got to run. It's actually a six mile race. I'm like, oh boy, I just like dumped my tank on two miles. I better slow down a little bit. And then I get to the, the five mile mark and they're like, it's actually a 12 mile race. And you just don't know how to pace. So if someone got uh, into a race that, and they told me, hey, this race has an unknown distance. <laughs> 
How would I run that? I wouldn't go at some exact consistent pace because I don't know how long that's going to be. So in a race where I don't know the end, I would run when I felt good and I would walk when I don't and really take that time to add some variety to your life. Add some variety, change it up a little bit. I think it's so easy when we're inside every day and we go from just our bed down the hall to the living room and back to the kitchen table to the bed and we just get into this like really strange routine in a confined space. You gotta start mixing it up. And if things get overwhelming and you're like, I'm, I don't know if I'm pacing this too fast, I gotta step away, go for an actual walk. Pull out your journal, do some push-ups, read a book, change it up middle of the day, like that's okay. If you're sleeping at night and, and like you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't fall back to sleep, don't just lie there, get up and be productive. Write in your journal. Uh, Go read a chapter. Or throw on a meditation. Throw on a meditation. Get into Downward Dog. Hang out there for a little while. Actually, lights up the wall really helps Ooh. reset and helps you like kind of calm down. Is that where you like lie back sleep. and your feet are like... So yeah, when you lie on the ground and you put your legs up like up against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a race. Look, we're running a race here in society right now that is an unknown distance. That means we can't have some similar pace and not everyone's pace is going to be the same. If you feel good, go after something new. If it's just not right, change it up and add some variety and walk it out. And that's how you got to handle a race when the race director gives you an unknown distance. So that leads us... Sorry. Oh, yeah, go. I was going to say, like we said, it's great to have a schedule. It's great to have a plan. But allow yourself that flexibility and allow yourself to have that variety in your schedule. Because sometimes you can get stuck in a rut and you need to just snap yourself out of it somehow. Don't be so connected to that schedule or so rigid on that schedule that you're not allowing space for your brain and your just your your mental capacity and your mental health um, to to kind of flourish and grow there. It's a great point. It it makes me think like don't beat yourself up if you're not feeling the groove right now. Don't be yourself up. Don't pu- you don't have to push through and be the hero in a time like this. This is a great time to conserve your energy if you're feeling like you need to because you don't know how much you're going to need. And so I love this word variety. And I think our star thought tonight is around this theme. Ooh. Variety is the spice of life. See how spicy I made it? It's spicy. Isn't it so spicy? It's so spicy. I better drink some water. It's so spicy. <laughs> It's hot. It's true. Variety is the spice of life. Get out there. Change some things up. Get out of your routine day to day. And you know what? We were just talking about this weekend. Like we're going to truly take our weekends and we're going to get away. Uh, Maybe not. We're definitely going to stay social distancing. We're not going to go hang out with people. It's just Tara and I self-quarantine. We're taking it seriously. You should all do that. But we're going to change things up this weekend. We're going to close the laptop. We're not going to do any work. We're going to pull out some books. We're going to do some painting. I'm going to write a couple songs that are just hanging out in my head and see if I can dig for a song on the guitar. And we're just going to try something different because every day can get really mundane when you don't have an end point in, in, in the distance, when you don't know how long this race is. So... Variety is a spice of life. It's Mix it of life. up. Not that New York salsa. That New York City salsa. <laughs> the real spicy salsa. People are going to be like, we have no idea what you're talking about because this is some... I, I know I what you're talking about. This is our generation. Salsa. I don't know. You could probably yes. YouTube it. I love Pace, chips and salsa. salsa. New York City. Google it. We'll figure it out. You're welcome. Uh, so... <laughs> Allison, Lynn, Onofrio, and I were just talking about this literally minutes ago. See? There it is. You don't know the race distance. So what you got to do when you get a race like that? Run when you feel good. Walk when you don't. So that's your lesson. That's your technique tonight. Uh, We hope that you got something out of it. We hope you had a good time. We have a couple things to end with. And the first one is our emoji send-off. Tonight's emoji send-off. Can I explain this one? Because I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. We would love you to post an emoji that represents movement. Any emoji that represents movement. Dig through them. Take a look at them. I'm even going to dig through ours right here. I drew the little little cartwheel person. Anything that represents movement. Let's see what we got here. I want to find a good one. 
Let's see Let's here. See. An emoji that represents movement in life. Ooh, there's. Do you see anything you like? Ooh, we got a dancer. Is that kangaroo? Where? Oh, yeah. look at that. It is a kangaroo. Yeah, and. I'm putting that one in. I'm putting that one in. I think it's a, a someone dunking a basketball. Oh, oh wow. man, they're so tiny. I see claps, I, I see runners, little. I see they're so tiny. There's waves, that's tech, yeah. A tornado, waving. I love the that tornado. A, a little love symbol. Is that a little fairy? <laughs> Molly put a little fairy. I like I, yeah, that. I love how you've gone from fire to tornado. I'm sensing a theme here. There is definitely a theme here, young Wang. <laughs> if you want to talk, we're available. <laughs> oh, I love it. Tom Johnson, he's got this just big old oh, oh symbol. DT. Is that an octopus? I'm so close to the Man, camera. Man, I know. I They're so close. It's because you have this thing up, I think. Oh, maybe it is. I Let's, don't want to We don't want to stop anything. Feed. We'll just put it down. So, I think it's okay. still going. Sweet. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> we got a lot of great oh, things to represent. Movement. Movement. I like good this job. good you emoji send off. This one. Love this one. Mm -hmm. And we're all moving in life right now, but the pace is unknown. So run when you feel good. Walk when you don't. And uh, keep trekking through life. Take it one day at a time. We're on the roller coaster. We're strapped in like Tara talked about. <laughs> you can't get off the ride. You can't get off. That's, that's not an option. Nope. So just you got to roll with it and just enjoy the ride as much as you can. Find gratitude in everything you do. So with that, our 1,000 bonus points one for the night. Thousand. Who's going to get 1,000 bonus points for finishing our catchphrase? Uh, so excited to see. And by the way, it's also hump day. Hump day. For those that were wondering, it is our hump day. <laughs> and I know that there's some fans of hump day out there. It is Wednesday, folks. We're halfway through the week. Let's keep it rolling. One, two, three. What, what you, you put, put in is... Da -da 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 -da. Who's going to win the thousand bonus points? Oh man, I can't wait. Maybe we should yeah, have a prize for the most a bonus points. Lag Huge lag. Now, so Huge I'm sure lag. you're all throwing it in there. And it's all in there. It's the first one that pops up for us. Who knows? Up. Who knows? It's there's really yeah. no rhyme or reason. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it? What'd, What'd you, you get, get up, up? Kaden Kaden Boys? boys. Woo! Nice job, Caden Boys. Oh, Sophia's so close. Oh, Gabe's so close. Oh, here Noah, they Emma, in. here we go. Mm. Sarah Furlong, what you put in is what you get Lauren, out. Lauren, so close. All, all for second place, all first losers. Caden Boyce is the one that wins it. Caden Boyce, for winning the thousand bonus points, I'm giving you a virtual frozen Yeti for finishing the 15 mile <laughs> race. Isn't that the best prize for running a race you've ever seen? I love that thing. We do love a Yeti. I if love you it. haven't seen Abominable yet, <sighs> you should check it out. It's beautiful. Great movie. Beautiful. Hey, splendid, splendid hanging out with all of you tonight. It's the best part of our day. Get your friends to tune in. Let them know 7 p.m. every night, prime time. Tune into what you put in because what you put into life is truly what you get out of it. And it's what life is all about. Thanks for hanging. We will see you tomorrow night. Yes. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. We started our Bonus. we started a YouTube channel. Enjoy Life Education Inc. now has its what? own YouTube channel. Go awesome. check it out. Enjoy Life Education. And all of these episodes are up there. S subscribe to it. I guess that's a thing you do to YouTube channels. If we get a, a hundred subscribers, we can create our own unique URL. And we can do like youtube.com slash Enjoy life education. I love a unique Please, URL. let's get 100 people to subscribe. That'd be sick. That'd be Peace so out. cool. Good night, everybody. I have a great night, guys. Thanks for joining. <laughs>